Welcome to this tutorial on how to effectively search for social work resources at the Tulane University Library. In this video, we will cover various search techniques such as Boolean operators, wildcards, phrasing symbols, filters, reference tracking, and the virtual book browse. First, let's understand the basics of conducting a search in the library's catalog. This is the library's homepage. On this homepage, you will find the search bar. We will begin this demonstration by searching for resources on counseling. If you type in the term or the terms that you want to search on, you can press the magnifying glass. This will return a list of all of the resources that have the term counseling on what's known as its records page. Each resource you see here has a records page. To access that page, you just click on the resource that you like. This page will give you information about the resource, including a summary, some subject terms, a link to the resource, as well as related readings. Think of this as the landing page for each of the resources in our collection. Now that you understand the basic search functionality, let's move on to some search strategies. Phrasing symbols allow you to search for exact phrases, ensuring that your results include the precise terms you're looking for. Let's see an example. Using the phrasing symbols, the quotation marks, we will search for resources that discuss family therapy. By placing the phrase within quotation marks, you can search for the exact term in the exact order it appears. If you don't include the quotation marks, the system will find resources that have both of those words, but in any order. For example, you may see resources that have therapy before family, or there may be multiple words between the term family and therapy. If we press search, you'll see that the resources specifically mention family therapy in the order that we have provided. Remember to use this search strategy whenever you're bringing together multiple terms into a phrase and you want the system to search on that phrase and not just each individual term. Next, let's discuss Boolean operators. As you can see, Boolean operators are useful tools for combining and excluding terms in your searches. Let's explore some examples. Using AND, suppose you're interested in finding resources that focus on both mental health intervention and adolescence. By using the AND operator, you can narrow down your search to include only resources that mention both of these terms. Be sure to provide the Boolean operator in all capital letters for it to work. As you can see, the results now show resources that specifically discuss both mental health interventions and adolescence. You will notice in some examples that the terms may not appear in the brief description. You will have to click on the records page to see the term. So we'll see here, mental health intervention is in the title. We don't see the word adolescent. So if we were to scroll through this page, however, you will see that the word adolescent is actually located here in the subject terms. So once again, you may not see both terms in the title or on the brief description that you get on the results page, but you will see the term somewhere on the record page. Now let's take a look at using the Boolean operator OR. Let's say you want to find resources about mental health intervention, or substance abuse intervention. We'll press enter and see what we get. Now, before we move on, I do wanna make sure that we understand the difference between using and and using or. As you can see here, if we were to use or, we're gonna get 33,000 results. If we were to place and here instead of or in search, we're gonna get a lot less results. And the reason why is because when you use and, you're telling the system that both of these phrases must appear versus using or, as we'll do again, 
you're getting more because you're telling the system you either want to see the phrase mental health intervention or the phrase substance abuse intervention or some combination of these two phrases. So again, or is going to expand your search, whereas and is going to limit your search. Sometimes you may want to exclude certain keywords from your search. Let's say you want to find resources on mental health interventions, but want to exclude anything related to substance abuse interventions. In this case, you can use the Boolean operator not. By using this operator, you are telling the system to return you resources that only discuss mental health interventions and any resource that has both mental health interventions and substance abuse interventions must be excluded in this search. So once again, you're only looking for things in this case that mention mental health interventions. Anything that also says substance abuse interventions will not be loaded on this results page. Wild cards are special symbols that can replace letters or parts of words to broaden your search. Here's an example. Suppose you want to find resources that discuss color. This would be considered the traditional American English variation of the word color. So if we search color, as it is represented here, we'll get 6 million results. However, some of us may know that the word color can have another variation from our friends in the UK and our friends in Canada. So if we put a U here, we know that this is a spelling of color that sometimes comes up. So to capture both spellings of color, we're going to replace that U with an asterisk. And as I said before, this is going to put any variation of letters after O and before R to return as many resources as possible. So let's see. You see, we have more resources than before because we have in some way increased the variations that can be returned. And as you see here, even by the third example, we have a different variation on the spelling. So this technique can become very useful whenever you're unsure about spelling or maybe even when you're thinking about differences in how things may be spelled across cultures and across languages. If you find yourself having trouble creating search terms, visit the strategic search page on the Social Work Library Guide. Library guides can be found by visiting the library's webpage and selecting the Library Guides button. Search for the social work guide. Once you find it, click on the page and then select search strategies. At the top of this page is a video describing how to find search terms and how to select search terms. I also have information on some of the strategies you've seen so far as well as a list of search terms that are relevant to social work practice. To help manage your search results, you can use our built-in filters. As graduate students, be sure to pay close attention to the journals and databases that surface from your searches. These could be potential publication venues for your current or future research endeavors. Once you find resources that may be useful to your research, check the resource references to find other potentially useful materials. You can achieve this in our catalog by visiting the record page for a resource and scrolling down to the citation section. Here, you can view resources that were referenced in this resource and those resources that have referenced this resource. This information can be gathered natively in our system through the citing this and cited in this buttons. Additionally, you can visit indexers like Elsevier to find other cross citations.
Similarly, since books housed in the library are organized by subject, you can also search for books related to your selected book of interest. To browse in this way, select a physical book from the catalog. Physical books will have a call number and an available at marker. To browse in this way, select the virtual browse option or scroll to the bottom. Scrolling from left to right will show you the books related to the book you just viewed. These books can be found right next to the book you have selected here on the bookshelf in the library. When looking for books at the library, it is important to remember that our books are mostly classified by Library of Congress call number. The call number arrangement on the screen should be consulted when looking for a physical book. Congratulations! You've learned valuable techniques to enhance your library catalog searches. Remember to experiment with Boolean operators, wildcards, phrasing, filters, and other techniques to refine your results. Good luck with your research. For more information, contact us at library at tulane.edu or visit our website, library.tulane.edu. Thank you.